G'day everybody, how's it going? It is the Bond 4 and in this video, yes, um, I've asked people to compare two players. I said preferably not Bond because I'd be very, very biased and that's probably ruin the video. So, um, and people have listened to that. If you aren't in this part one, you'll definitely be in the part two, three, four, five, six, whatever it is. Um, thank you so much for following me on the Instagram. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys so much. You're all absolute legends. So yeah, if you're not if you're not in um part one or part two, you'll definitely be in a part three or part four. So do not stress at all. Thanks guys. I really appreciate your suggestions. Vinny says Clayton Oliver or Sam Walsh, and that is that is next level hard to decide. But I'm going to decide. Um, they're both absolute great ball winners. They're both great players. They can both find the goals when they want to. Um, both beasts. Both um, in contention for the Brownlow. And if I say someone wrong, I'm scared I'm going to be absolutely flamed. But, yeah, they're both absolute stars. Both love watching them play. And, yeah, it's going to be very tough. But if someone said to me, Bont, who would you rather watch out of Sam Walsh and Clayton Oliver? Who would be more entertaining? I'd have to pick Sam Walsh. I just think he's an up-and-coming star. In the next five years, Sam Walsh will basically nearly run the AFL. Well, not run the AFL, but he'll be, in the next five years, he's... 95, unless he gets injured, 95% winning a Brownlow. I reckon Clayton Oliver could win a Brownlow in that time as well. But I just think Sam Walsh is just next level when it comes to footballers. I know he's only young, and I know people say, oh, he's overrated, but he's not. He's an absolute star. He's rated perfectly, and I think Clayton Oliver's rated perfectly as well. So no hate against Clay like Clayton Oliver, but I pick Sam Walsh over Clayton Oliver. Cheers, Vinny. So Ryan Rigby said, Chol or Amadi. Chol plays for the Tigers. And Amani plays for the Swans. Again, this is a very tough one because they're both um, having decent seasons. Um, Amadi has been really good for Sydney um, in his short time. He's only played a couple games, seven games, something. Chol's been at Richmond for a while now. And he had a really, really impressive game against the Lions, Chol did. And he's just a, a great mark. So, um, sorry, Amadi. I think you'll be an absolute star in the future. But I reckon I'm going to have to pick Chol over Amadi. I reckon Chol... He's a great player. So is Amadi, though. So this is nothing against um, anyone. It's just what my um, thoughts are. But and I think Chol is a better player than Amadi. Nick Perry has given me a extremely hard one again. This is this is really hard. These have been really good so far, guys. Um, so he's given me Dugowie or Jake Stringer. Both of these men have had outstanding 2021 seasons. Dugowie in the midfield is killing it. Jake Stringer up forward for the Bombers is killing it. He's kicking four a game. He's looking deadly, and so is Dugowie. Dugowie's just improved out of sight. I reckon Bucks played him in the wrong position, and in the midfield, Dugowie is deadly. So this is this is tough. Like, I don't really know how to choose. But if I had to go for the X Factor and someone I'd rather in my team, it's a tiny, tiny bit biased because I was a Dogs. I mean, I am a Dogs fan, and he did play for the Dogs. So I'm going to have to pick Jakey by that, that much, that much. Jordan Dugowie is an absolute star this year, and he's... Proving everybody wrong that is um everybody's calling him overrated. I think he's perfectly rated and playing some great footy, but I think Jake Stringer just takes a chocolate for the X Factor. All right, Will Layla has given me um a very difficult one as well. It is um Darcy Moore or Harris Andrews. Oh shit, these have been these have been extremely tough. So Harris Andrews or Darcy Moore. Darcy Moore's been out with injury um for a, a little bit now. Harris Andrews is a great defender. I don't, I don't know, really. Um, I'd, I'd love them both on my side. Oh, shit. Oh, it's tough. It's really tough. It's really, really tough. But I'm going to have to pick Darcy Moore. I'm, I, I, I love them both. I'm just going to have to pick Darcy Moore. I don't know why. I just like him as a player better than um, Harris Andrews. Xavier Smith has given me um, Ollie Wines or Christian Petrarca. Another, another really tough one. Um, both having incredible um seasons. If I had to choose by season, I'd say Ollie Wines is had a better season than Petrarca. Petrarca still had a monster season though. But if I had to talk about career, oh shit, actually, um, they're both damaging. They're both hard ball gets. They're both absolute stars of the game. Um, I think Ollie Wines is challenging Bont at the minute. I think he's like second or first in the in the Brownlow. So for that reason, I'm gonna to have to choose Ollie Wines over Petrarca just because he's in um in contention of winning the brown. I still think Petrarca is in contention of winning the brown, but I think Ollie Wines is winning it at the moment. So I'm gonna to have to choose him. All right, Nicole Artis has given me um another tough one. It is between the um double time Brownlow medalist Nat Five and Paddy Dangerfield. Um, he's also a Brownlow medalist. 
Um, both haven't got premierships yet, but that doesn't mean anything, really. Um, both star players. Both um, love watching them play. But if I had to choose one, I'd probably pick Paddy James, but I just think he's a more damaging player. Um, both inaccurate in front of goals, I reckon. That's their downfall. They're both very hard players, though. I both, like I said, love watching them play, but I'm going to have to pick Paddy Danfield. I just, he's, like, if it wasn't for Bont, he'd be one of my favourite players, Paddy, so I'm going to have to pick Paddy. Cheers for the, just, um, for the idea there, man. So this is a very interesting one from Jarrah. Um, I'll put your name up at the top. Um, I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. Sorry if I didn't, mate. But, um, it is Pendles and Jack Steele. And, like I said, very interesting because Pendles is near the end of, the, of his career and Jack Steele is still decently young. So I think for like career wise, Pendlebury's had a better career because he's I think he's played longer. Jack still um has been in the competition for a while now too. But um if I had to go this year I'd go Jack Steele hundred percent. Um Pendles is still a all round classy player, but if I had to go for career wise I'd go Pendlebury, but if I had to go for this year I'd go Jack Steele. So I'm gonna have to go Pendlebury, only because he's played longer and had a better a uh, better career I reckon than Jack Steele. That's the only reason I'm going Pendlebury. But yeah, this year Jack Steele for sure. So it's a bit of both for that one. All right, so Riley Hamilton has given me um, a couple, but I've chosen chosen one out of the couple he's given me, and I chose the Tom Papley and Toby Green one. I think that was a very interesting one. Um, both like both amazing players. Um, both not my favourite players. Um, I both think they're like not flogs, but like not yeah, it's just not my favourite players. Um, but if I had to choose one for the X Factor, I reckon I'd go Toby Green just because yeah, I just think he's a great player, even though he's not my favourite um, person. Um, I still think he's a great player. Tom Papley's a great player as well, but yeah, I reckon Terry Green would take the cake for that one. Archie has given me a tough one. It is between um, Sam Walsh again and Darcy Parrish. Um, both incredible ball winners. Parrish has won three awards this year from um, the Anzac Day, the Indigenous round, I think it was, and the when he played against Geelong, he got... Uh, um, medal or something. I don't know what that was, but he's got three awards this year. Sam Walsh has been incredible, and I think Sam Walsh is a more damaging player than Darcy Parrish, so Sam Walsh it is. Darcy Parrish, I still love you, but Sam Walsh, I think, just takes the cake. Alright, so Lockie's given me one. It is um, Libba or Took Miller. Um, people might be thinking he's definitely going to pick Libba, but I'm not. I'm going to pick Took Miller over Libba. The only reason is because um, I think Tuke Miller has had an underrated season. He's an underrated player. So is Liver. Liver is an absolute um, contested ball beast. He's got the quickest hands in the game. I reckon he's very close to Tuke Miller. But I think Tuke Miller takes the um, takes a cake um, in this one. I think he's just um, too classy and too good for Liver. But Liver, I still love you, mate. All right, so this is the last one. I'm definitely going to be doing a part two, guys. So do not stress at all if you're not in this video. I'll definitely do a part two. But Ryan Baines has given me um, Cozzy Pickett or Bolton. I like Cozzy Pickett better as like a player. Like I like him better as a... I don't know him as a person, but I like him better than um, Bolton. But I'm going to have to pick Bolton because he's, I reckon he's a bit more damaging than Cozzy Pickett. Cozzy Pickett um, can sometimes have some great games and other times just be missing. I think Bolton's very consistent and he's... A really high leaper. I just think he's really entertaining to watch. So I'm gonna have to pick Shy Bolton over Cozzy Pickett, but I still love them. Um, I still love Cozzy. I th like I like the way Shy Bolton plays though. He's a great player. Thanks, mate. Like I said though, guys, I'll definitely be doing a part two. So do not stress if you're not in the video. I'll include you in part two. And yeah, cheers, guys.